Now this is a replication of Dr. Stifler's uh, latest video that he posted uh, a couple days ago. And I'll give a link to that video in my description. And uh, it's very interesting. Um, we're using a function generator putting out a megahertz signal through one wire. The ground wire is not attached to anything. It goes through an air core coil. Then it goes to a clip lead, basically, and then it goes into this right here. And this is a ring of diodes. They're called switching diodes. And they're not regular diodes like an LED. They're switching diodes. When you apply a voltage onto this, it goes on and it turns off. It goes on and it turns off. It goes on and it turns off. Every time you tap it, it turns on, but it turns off again. And this switching diode effect this is a ring and the ring um, goes like this they're all pointing around this direction then they go into the LEDs in series also these are six LEDs in series and uh, so the thing goes around like this and the signal comes in from the function generator into this around here. Now he used a clip lead. I just used a piece of solid wire. But the uh, interesting effect is that when you turn this in and out of resonance, these go in and out. Can you hear that click, click, click? That's me doing this. And the question is, <clears throat> what is going on here? Do we have an induction situation? Do we have a capacitive situation? Is the current going around the loop? Is the current going in and then coming back out? Is it just a transformer effect? What is going on here? And this very, very simple thing that has no batteries in it, I found very interesting. It's like a giant AV plug. And I can put that thing over here on the side and it goes off. I could put it almost anywhere and it goes off. And so I'm not thinking this is induction. This is maybe a capacitive link up. But um, the guys that are working at the forum on this project probably have this all dialed in and know exactly what's going on. But I thought it was very interesting, so I thought I'd replicate it. And the fact that it goes off like an AV plug away from the the inductive influence more like a capacitive influence and this is what Dr. Stifler mentioned in his video is the amount of capacitance is rather minimal between these two things here now the inductive part I can buy into that but where's the current now is it going around like this is something just hitting that loop and then causing it to go on and then the return path just goes out into outer space or back into the ether or whatever? But that's the question. Where Where is the energy coming in and where is it going? And why is it going on way out here like this? This is like a Tesla coil kind of effect, a capacitive link up. But is that what's really going on? And like I say, the the, the tuning with this frequency I thought was very interesting and this is why this is an L3 coil out of Dr. Stifler's experiments it normally goes off at 13.56 megahertz this is not doing that this is going off at you can't see it but it's uh, about 11 megahertz which means there's some dynamic between these loops of wire that make this rather interesting so anyway I just wanted to post this mainly for Dr. Stifler to say that uh, you're not nuts <laughs> this does work and uh, it works exactly like uh, you showed you can take the frequency in and out of this thing and make this come on and I'm not buying into the fact that this is strictly an electromagnetic link up I'm just not nor am I buying into this is just capacitive like a Tesla coil 
these because of these switching diodes the fact that these diodes they go on and they come off they go on and they come off and they can do that in the megahertz range you get a flow a flow that goes all the way around through this when they're excited and when this gets excited at just the right frequency that's what happens and I'll welcome any comments, pro, con, whatever, but uh, I just did this to verify that Dr. Stifler's latest experiment does work. Thanks for watching.